Welcome to Electrene District Municipality, where light shines day and night. You will find Electrene District in the middle between the two largest cities in Lithuania, Vilnius and Kaunas, where most intercity traffic goes. It is just half an hour drive from both cities. The population of Electrene District reaches almost 24,000 in 2020. Electrene District has two cities, one town, and a lot of villages. Nature-wise, Electrene District Municipality has half of nearest regional park and the beautiful Streva River Valley, which later forms into one of the largest water reservoirs in Lithuania, called Electrenu Maros. We will take a closer look at all of this, starting with the district capital, Electrene. Electrene is one of the youngest cities of Lithuania. It was built just in 1960, together with the electricity power plant, hence the name Elektriany, which comes from the Lithuanian word for electricity. Because the city was built so recently, it has quite a different style than most in Lithuania, where many cities have history since the Middle Ages. From the towering Soviet apartment buildings and the tall sculpture Hymn for Work at the city entrance, to the wavy ice hockey arena, Pontoon Bridge and Snow White Modern Church, Electriene shows a beautiful combination of Soviet and modern architecture. However, there also used to be an amusement park in the Soviet times and it was also one of Electriene's symbols. Even after it became derelict in recent years, people still kept going there for unique experience. But it was completely deconstructed in 2019 and soon it will be replaced by a city park and leisure zones by the water. While visiting Electrene, you can't miss the large water reservoir Electrenu Maros, which attracts both locals and visitors. It provides a variety of activities to try. Not only you can enjoy the beach, but also try sports facilities around, play volleyball, or go for endless water activities like wakeboarding, jet skis, sailing, stand-up paddleboarding, water trampolines, and more. Another place to try sports or enjoy watching them is at Electrianev Ice Palace. It is the first indoor ice hockey arena in Lithuania. If you'll be interested to know more about Lithuanian ice hockey, you can visit Ice Hockey Museum inside and attend the match. If you would like to see something historical at Elektriany, then at the suburbs of the city, you will find a Bromishki Manor House. Built in the 19th century, it was one of the most beautiful manor and a park in Lithuania, with a large library and active social life. However, the history was not in its favor and it was abandoned for many years. But today, the manor is being renovated and meanwhile, the local cultural hub is at the renovated manor barn. It hosts lectures, sports and events. One of the most popular events organized there is a hike, Žalio Velino Takais, through the routes of the Green Devil, which is dedicated to guerrillas who fought against Soviet occupation. The event is not just a hike, it also has a fair with educational stands related to army, weaponry, healing and history, and even a concert. It has become a traditional event organized every year in early July, although, just like everything else, it got cancelled in 2020. I hope we will see it next year. If you would go more south in the district, you'll reach a small town Semeliškis. That is where the historical part of Elektriene district lies. It is one of the oldest towns in all Lithuania, established in the 13th century. It still has the old street planning and it feels like you have moved back in time there. Semeliškis is situated beautifully on a hill in the countryside, surrounded by lakes and river Streva flowing through. In the town center lies a beautiful 19th century Orthodox church and on the other end of a cobblestone road there is one of the oldest wooden churches in the whole Lithuania, built in the 18th century. Another place from the 18th century is a village called Grabioli. After having a ride of 7 km through unpaved road, you will be rewarded with a feel of a real old village life. Grabioli is one of the few villages that keep the authentic traditional village look. Some even label it as the most beautiful village in Lithuania. 
while only a few people are still constantly living there, it looks neat and well taken care of. The place is so remote that locals wait for a store on wheels to bring the groceries to buy. The village consists only of one street that leads to the riverside and houses are built very close to each other, the gardens facing the forest and the fields. The center of the village is set at the well by a big maple tree and a sculpture on the other side of the road. If you'd like to know and feel the place even more, you can book a small wooden cabin at the edge of the village, which is established by the authorities of Neris Regional Park. There you won't find electricity or running water for the maximum feel of old ways of living. And if you seek for more things to do nearby, then go for a hike through an educational forest trail that starts in Grabioli. It is just 4 kilometers long, but don't be fooled, it is not an easy walk like in most of the educational routes around Lithuania. It is meant for those who want to be in the real wilderness without getting lost. The trail is well marked and it stretches through high hills and low stream valleys, which all lead to River Neris, the second longest river in Lithuania. At some places, the path is so steep that it's quite hard to walk on two legs, so I would not suggest going there after heavy rain. However, the trail is quite rewarding, with many sites on the way and stories to read on the information stands. The information is available in English too. There are two streams, one of them called Sweet and another Salty. There also are some ruins and a hill fort, even mythical places and the biggest oak in Neris Regional Park. Alkei Oak is 5.12 meters wide and is more than 300 years old. The best views around the trail probably would be available in early spring or autumn, when the trees are not covered too much, because all the trail is following Neris River Valley. But summer provides a great feeling too, and even some food. While hiking I found some wild dewberries, plums, and even pears. However, you should pick only the fruits that you know very well. You might also meet quite a lot of local animals. I was very lucky to see a variety of birds, squirrels, other small animals, and even deers came quite close. If you'd like to see more of Neris Regional Park on Elektrene district side, you can go to Neris Left Bank Tourist Trail which begins not far from Grabioli. It is 25 kilometers long route leading around the curve of the river through beautiful old pine tree forest. It is mostly meant for bicycles, which will take around five hours to complete the trail, but you can also go by car or motorcycle. This will take around three hours with stops at the sides, or even by foot, which will take one to two days to complete. It is a great place to get some fresh air, not going far from the capital Vilnius, and the route is very well marked. On the way, you can check out an old Panarei palace and the beautiful Neris River island, various natural objects, most famous being Ausutishku conglomerate, stone-like but very brittle natural sculpture. Such rock formations are very rare in Lithuania. In order to reach it, you have to go downhill through steep wooden stairs to the riverside. Very slippery when wet. A great view of the river valley and forest beyond can be seen very near the conglomerate at Ostutishka Observational Deck. It is also one of the many possible campsites around the trail. During the trip, you can also stock up some of the most clean and fresh water available at the mythological spring Finicla. It is believed that this spring has magical powers because of the direction of its current. In the Baltic lands, springs flowing in the direction of the rising sun are regarded as sacred and healing. All in all, Elektrene district seems to manage very well in combining the modern and the ancient without interfering each other. It is a great place to check out on a short trip from Vilnius or Kaunas or even while going from one to another. Just choose if you would like to visit the modern Elektrene or the old Semeliškes town or even Grabioli village. 
or if you would rather prefer to pack your bags and go on a hike in the pristine forest of nearest regional park. See you in Electriani. Thanks for watching.